In this video we're going to show you how to control the Arduino Nano which has the Fumata protocol on it from a Windows app which we have over here. So the Windows app is going to control the Nano and from the Nano we've got a lot of digital signals here, LEDs which we're going to light up We've got some analog signals coming back, we've got some I squared C and some pulse width modulation coming out as well. So let's start and see what we have. First one we'll start, we will just light an LED by turning the switch on. Turn the switch on and we can see the LED has lit. Now we can switch it off. We can also use one signal coming out to go back in to start a, another process inside. So let's just send the signal in, we'll switch on, and we see that the other pin has also gone high. On the board, we have a button. If we click the button, then we will again see the switch on the Windows app change. There we are, we can press, and we see it going high. Now if we go to the pulse width modulation, we can see that we've got a slider. So when we move the slider, we will see the LED brighten up. We see it getting brighter, the higher we go, and going back down, it goes dim again. We've also got a dial and if we turn this potentiometer we will turn the dial as well as the LED. So going up, down, going up, coming down. On our motorboard we have an encoder motor, so it's a motor on the front with an encoder here in the back. We have a servo motor, it's a 180 degree turn, and we have a stepper motor, so we can go in each direction and we can go as far as we want to go. So let's have a look at the motors. So first we'll look at the stepper motor. So on this side, we'll go in one direction as fast as it can. As we slide it across to the other side, it will slow down in this direction, then speed up in the opposite direction and go as fast as it can in the opposite direction. So we press start. We're watching the indicator on the top. Press start and we can see the indicator is turning. As we come back to the middle, you can see that the LED slowed down as the signal slows down and we speed up in the opposite direction and you can see the indicator is going back in the opposite direction. We have the encoder, so when we switch this encoder on by the switch here, we will see the value here increase. And we can see it counting up the revolutions that is happening. Our encoder has 32 positions, so we have to divide the raw number by 32 to get one revolution. And so here we can see the number of revolutions we are getting from this motor. Next we have our stepper motor. The stepper motor, as we can see, sits in the initial position, which is at 90 degrees. So if we want to take that and put it at 180 degrees, that means that this indicator should come out in this direction. We can move it. And if we want to go to zero degrees, we can move it zero degrees. We can put it back to 90 degrees. You can go to any degrees in between. Then we've got 
the I squared C. The I squared C is coming from the accelerometer, which is over here. And we're just seeing the three planes. So if we speed up by moving the board, we see that the values change as we accelerate the board in a particular plane. So that just shows us that we can get lots of signals and we can drive them from a Windows app using the standard for Marta library inside the Nano.